Hi guys, today we are going to discuss another very important topic in IPC that is the jurisdiction of IPC, jurisdiction of the Indian Penal Code, section 1 to 4 of IPC. Jurisdiction means the extent or limit within which a state can exercise its legal authority. One state in a, one state in a, that is legal authority, name of the state, Ubiyogi kiwan, exercise cheyuan, kadiyina, limit, alangil extent adhini anna jurisdiction in the parayinada. So, our boundary vare, our limit to vare, avadam vare matrame, our state in a adhinde, niyama paramatla adhigaram use cheyuan kadiyulu. Adhini anna in the parayinada, jurisdiction. Jurisdiction is the extent or limit within which a state can exercise its legal authority. IPC Ude Adigara Badi, IPC Ude jurisdiction, Namkrendai to the Randrikam, on the territorial jurisdiction, render extraterritorial jurisdiction. The jurisdiction of IPC are of two types number one, territorial jurisdiction, and number two, extraterritorial jurisdiction. Territorial jurisdiction, territorial jurisdiction, are you paid the under territory in the Bhu Pradesham? So, territorial jurisdiction of the IPC in the Varanal, India, you Bhu Pradesh to Nadakuna crimes, IPC you day application on even a number body can bone another. According to section one of IPC, the territorial jurisdiction of IPC extends all over India. That means the IPC applies to any offence committed within the territory of India, within the territorial waters of India and on any ship or aircraft either owned by India or registered in India. Indian territory ilum, India yude territorial waters ilum, adu pola ne, India il Owned by to Lado, Alangil Dacia Chia Patitoladoya, either to ship ilum, aircraft ilum, IPC Ude application under. Inni, Indian territory in the Parana Tamil and the Gulpurno, state territories, state in the Pupra Shangala, Union territories, Kendra Parna Pradesh Shangala, and other territories which may be acquired. Inni, either cut territories ano, Bavile, acquire Jaina, the Nadia Kanada, Adum Edulpurnunda, E. Indian territory in the Parana Tamil, Ulpurnunda. Territorial waters and the term and the cool putana both internal water bodies and maritime territory. Internal water body in the barnal rivers, lakes, canals, etc. Maritime territory in the barnal sea lula number extend. The jurisdiction of IPC extends to twelve nautical miles into the sea. Pandrand nautical miles sea lake. Indian Penal Code in a jurisdiction under that is known as the Maritime Territory of IPC. Once again, Section 1 and 2 of the IPC deals with the territorial jurisdiction of IPC. According to Section 1 of IPC, the territorial jurisdiction of IPC extends all over India. That means IPC applies to any offence committed within the territory of India, within the territorial waters of India and on any ship or aircraft either owned by India or registered in India. Territory of India includes states territories, union territories and other territories which may be acquired. Territorial waters of India include both internal water bodies such as canals, lakes, rivers, etc. and maritime territory. The jurisdiction of IPC extends to 12 nautical miles into the sea and this is known as the maritime territory of IPC. Now section 2 of IPC. According to section 2 of the IPC, every person who is within the Indian territory is punishable whether he is an Indian or a foreigner. That is, Section 2 of the IPC made every person liable to punishment without the distinction of nation, rank or creed. So, all persons, whether foreigner or Indian, rich or poor, high or low in the society, who commits an offence within the Indian territory are punishable under IPC. The citizenship or nationality of the person is immaterial. 
ഒരാളുടെ നാഷണാലിറ്റിയോ സിറ്റിസൻഷിപ്പോ ഐ പി സിയുടെ ജുറിസ്ട്രിക്ഷനെ ബാധിക്കില്ല റിച്ചോ പുവറോ ഇന്ത്യനോ ഫോറിനറോ സൊസൈറ്റിയിൽ ഹയ്യോ ലോയോ ആരുമായിക്കോട്ടെ ഐ പി സിയുടെ അണ്ടറിൽ പണിഷബിളാണ് ആ വ്യക്തി ഇന്ത്യയിലൊരു ക്രൈം കമ്മിറ്റ് ചെയ്താൽ സെക്ഷൻ ടുവിൻ്റെ ആപ്ലിക്കേഷനിൽ നിന്ന് ഒരു ഫൈവ് കാറ്റഗറീസിലുള്ള പേഴ്സൺസിനെ എക്സം ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ട് ഒഴിവാക്കിയിട്ടുണ്ട് നമ്പർ വൺ ദ പ്രസിഡൻറ്റ് ഓഫ് ഇന്ത്യ ആൻഡ് ദ ഗവർണേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് സ്റ്റേറ്റ്സ് നമ്പർ ടു ദ ചീഫ് ജസ്റ്റിസ് ആൻഡ് അതർ ജഡ്ജസ് ഓഫ് ദി സുപ്രീം കോർട്ട് ആൻഡ് ഹൈക്കോർട്ട്സ് നമ്പർ ത്രീ ഫോറിൻ സോവറിൻസ് ആൻഡ് അംബാസിഡേഴ്സ് നമ്പർ ഫോർ വാർഷിപ്സ് ഓഫ് ഫോറിൻ സ്റ്റേറ്റ്സ് ആൻഡ് നമ്പർ ഫൈവ് ഏലിയൻ എനിമീസ് so these five categories of persons are exempted from the jurisdiction of ipc we need special procedures for the trial of these persons